right, put the can down. All right, well, one more second. No, no, put the can down. Okay. All right, all right, Joe, you sing the high part. Hey, you got it. Shoop doo Shoop doo Come and meet the family. Talking about my brothers and me. We don't have a pedigree, but we're brothers. Brothers. We might follow different dreams. We might play on different teams. Where it counts behind the scenes, we're brothers. We might march to different drums. We might disagree. Don't you know when trouble comes, you can come to me. You're my family. And a curve that life may throw. Anywhere the wind may blow. Brother, ain't it good to know we're three? Life is full of stress and strife. You lose a lover, leave a wife. A brother's a brother for all your life. We'll be brothers. Ship to life. Good. It's good. It's good. Hi, Kelly. Hi, Donnie. I'm glad you're here. I have a date tomorrow night, and I promised the guy dinner. Do you have any really great recipes? Sure. Are you handy in the kitchen? It's my second best room in the house. In that case, serve oysters. H E Y, H E Y, H E Y. Oh my God, it's Nightmare on Sesame Street. I have you know I'm preparing for the father daughter spelling bee at my little Luella school. That's very sweet of you. Yes, it is. In fact, I'm on my way to a night class so as to, uh, Sharpen my spellinary skills. Your what? My spellation. Your spelling. You're going to improve your spelling, you ox cart. Thank you, my good fairy. Really? You on your way to night school? Well, obviously, the answer to that is why, yes, so do I got to spell it out for you? Hey, you got your Catholic school tie on. Yeah, that's for good luck. Where'd you go, Our Lady of Perpetual Ignorance? <laughs> Donnie, you can't bring me down. I'm feeling too high. Maybe the tie's too tight. <laughs> nah. You know, when Luella first told me about this, I was scared. But now I'm confident. I'm confident, sure, and secure. I can raise my hand in class, cause I'm sure. <laughs> Lou, I've got to say, this is very brave of you to put yourself on the line like this. Well, actually, I've had the inspiration to go back and give school another try ever since I seen the nutty professor. <laughs> so, how's it going so far? Great. Last night, I spelled everything they give me in class correct. Great. What kind of words do they have on the test? Well, actually, it wasn't a test. The teacher asked us to write our name and address on an index card. <laughs> Well, that's a start. Yeah! <laughs> hey, Joe, give me a beer. Lou, uh, you sure you want to drink before class? Just one beer. It's a sort of a tradition I started in the seventh grade. <laughs> you drank beer in the seventh grade? Why not? I was of legal age. <laughs> Lou, is this important to you? Is it? Look at my notebook. Do you see one rocket ship drawn in the column? Then I think you ought to do without the beer. Maybe you're right. This is a chance here to prove my worth, not just to Luella, but to me. Hey, Joe, cancel that beer. Sure. <laughs> well, guys, wish me hell. I always do, Lou. I always do. <laughs> Boy, Cliff, it was great they let you sub for Lou on that spelling bee. You really came through. Well, I'm just glad I could help. It's too bad Lou couldn't make it. Yeah, but you really nailed that word on the last round. I wouldn't have gotten that in a million years. What was it? Effeminate. <laughs> That's the one. Cliff, what exactly was Lou's emergency? Something about one of his lodge brothers swallowed a bone or a rock. 
Hey, did you leave the tube on? Wasn't me. Ah, let's see. Beer, pretzels, cartoons. <laughs> Low. <laughs> Low? What? Where are you? In the closet. <laughs> what are you doing in the closet? Hiding. <laughs> you know, your remote control don't work from in there. Hey, Lou, guess what? Luella won the spelling bee. Oh, that's great. Thank you for taking her, Cliffy. She looked pretty. Oh, yeah. Lou, what were you doing in the closet? Told you I was hiding. Why? <laughs> I felt bad about not going to the spelling bee. I took that night class to make Luella proud. And I tried. I really did. I, I, I just couldn't follow nothing. The teacher said uh, to spell janitors. I went down to the basement, told him to take five. <laughs> when I come back up, went into the classroom with that mop that was all laughing at me. I knew then I had to quit. You quit school? Lou, so you misunderstood. That's got nothing to do with spelling. Yeah, right after that, I spelled the word two wrong. Well, that happens. There are three ways to spell two. Want to hear a fourth? <laughs> but, Lou, you were so determined. I didn't know how dumb I was. I can't even help my own little daughter do nothing. Lou, you're not dumb. You could have gone to that spelling bee. Oh, yeah, I could have gone. It would have embarrassed her. I would never hurt her that way. I know she was thinking about you up there on that stage. Yeah, thinking about how she got stuck with a stupid father. You know, they say stupid people don't got no problems because they can't think of any. <laughs> I can't help thinking about how much I don't know and how much I must have missed. You are not stupid. You're earthy. Yeah, I'm smart, like dirt. <laughs> That's not what I mean. You see, I can't even follow this conversation. <laughs> See you guys. <laughs> <laughs>